Alright, hello everyone, welcome back. I'm your friend in XO. Today, what I'm gonna teach you guys is how can you set up a VPN hotspot or how to set up a hotspot that is behind a prox so that whenever whatever devices you connected into the hotspot you set, set up, uh, they don't necessarily need to use a VPN anymore because they they just don't have to and they will have the free network for granted so how can you do that well first you would need a usb wi-fi receiver or sender that supports the access point mod uh, when i say the access access point what i mean is it can be used as a wi-fi sender and again another thing that you would need is to have the Ethernet network connection. In other words, you you will probably need a, a network source by where by using a where. And as I would say, uh, by buying such a little device is definitely cheaper than than buying a a new wireless router. All right. So at the first, you need to set up a way to rate clients or any socket 5 services and you need to make that service listen on this IP address and uh, this port for me I already have a, a way to rate client set it up and I, ha and I have it listen on the address this and on the port this one but you can change those things for this tutorial I'll just uh, doing this okay okay after you set it up the way to ray or any circus 5 service now it's time to install the red Sox. you know why we would need a red Sox? well because for every request in the end it's just the sucks okay then for the red Sox, it it receives all those packages network packages and send it to the socks 5 prox it will send all packages that he that it receives and send it to the uh the, the socks 5 prox okay i think that's probably a little bit too complex so uh don't worry about the details you just have to set it up okay how can you do that you can just uh, sudo apt install the red socks then you get into this configuration by using this command so so you get into it and uh, this is what you say first you set up the local IP address then you set the local port the two things is for the red Sox itself and the IP and port these two lines it's bounded to the Sox 5 procs that you have which is this one okay after you set it I've seen correct you can just do a restart for the red Sox service because you have to make your configuration take effects right take effect right um so you do this one now your red Sox lessons on this command or sorry on this ip address and it's port if you don't believe me you could just uh, um check it out by using this command as you could as you would say, the Red Sox service is running successfully on there. Then you're gonna install and launch a package called Linux Wi-Fi Hotspot. I found it's very useful. I couldn't think enough for I couldn't thank enough for this other who uh, created such a uh, repository because it's just really useful so as um, the function it does is just like it's LAN it it creates a Wi-Fi hotspot from the late for the Linux so how can you install it you use the two command this one and this one after you did that um, you can uh, you can use the, the those two lines of code to bypass some bugs but if you refuse it you can still go on uh, for example, now if I search for Wi-Fi hotspots, we we would say uh, an app. This one, 
um, then we click into it, we will get an application. For now, I didn't set up my hotspot, so I'm going to set it up. Here's the image that you can refer to. The really important configure that you that you need to make is called the no virtual interface because um, for most of the Wi-Fi receiver or sender, it does not support the virtual interface. So you have to make sure you select this one. Then it's the hotspot LAN and the hotspot password. Uh, you're going to make sure that you select the correct uh, Wi-Fi interface, but for most of the computer, it, it will just have one of them. Then it's the int, it's, it's the internet interface. Well, for this one, it has a lot of different uh, options that you can choose. Uh, but what it does is to, or what you need to choose is the one that have the global internet access. So if you do, do not know what I was talking about, let me, let me just show you something like this. You could use if configure to find out which one is the, 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 the interface that has the internet access, for, ex for example, this one. Okay, because it, it has a, it has a gateway kind of things like that. And its corresponding interface LAN is called EMPR, EMP2 SL. And it's a wire connection. So here we got the Ethernet keyword out there. Okay. So anyway, for, for this one, I'm going to choose this one because it's the interface that really has the internet access. Um, then we are free to create the hotspot. By click that, it will start to work. And it's done. It's running on a process. Uh, after that, it's generally not enough. We need to set up the IP tables to uh, forward all those requests from this interface to our read socks so that we could use the the the, the socks file prox to handle those requests so that we could visit the 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 internet freely without any uh, limitations or without the annoying um grid firewall kind of thing so let's get uh, let's get into it. So for now, if we if we check about the IP tables, we would get something. You know, for for your case, you would just get two lines of of the rows. Uh, but you need to add a new one, which is this this line of code. It will redirect all requests inside of this range of IP address to the Redux software. Okay, you do that by using this command here I uh, here I shouldn't add this one but that's fine um, then the last thing that you need to do is to enable the package re forward uh, command so that so that this line of of code will really take effect okay so after that let me do a verification for the um, for the scene okay um here we go basically basically this is my phone and now i have successfully connected to uh this network and as you could see we do not have any vpn in this phone and we do not connect to any uh prox for example way to way then we go to the browser and we got the baidu accessible but that's not cool. Actually, we need to use the uh, Google. And here we go. We got the Google right in here. We can even do some search. And it's almost perfect, uh, as I would say. But what if I clean up all those IP table rows? What would happen? After that, if we go back to the Google again, we do a refresh. Whoa. Why is still could say that that's not right come on something must be wrong mm, I guess I'll just uh, stop this one so I'll just start it again okay now since we have the UDP and TCP uh, as a default reward re-forward but 
um, but it's not working even for the Baidu, it's not working. But if we add this IP table row into the IP table and we go back to a, to our application again, now you got it right. So it really have something out there. That was nice. So basically this is what uh, you can do to make a VPN hotspot with Linux. And I'll just leave or leave my blog link under the video below. And you could, you know, feel free to check it out and do this experiment by yourself. Have fun. Bye.